In this video, we're going to be looking at a tool called PIF UHD. This is a really amazing piece of software that came out from Facebook research about a year ago. This is the website for the paper, and scrolling down, you can see some examples. On the left is just a regular photo of a person, and on the right is the 3D model that's generated of that person just based on the photo. Pretty incredible, but even more incredible is that it can generate the 3D model not only of the front of the person, but also the back. Not only did the Facebook team release their source code, but they also released a Colab notebook, which you can use to generate your own 3D models. Okay, let's step into the Colab notebook. You'll find a link to this notebook in the class links and in the video description. I suggest you use this one because there's a small issue with the original one. Okay, so we're in the notebook. The first section is the PIF UHD demo. We can take a look at it later if we want to. Scrolling down, we see a note. Make sure your runtime type is Python 3 with GPU. So we've run into this issue before in previous videos. Let's go up to the runtime, go to change runtime type, and make sure we're using the GPU. If we're not, we can open the list and select GPU, and then click Save. Every time we change these settings, we need to make sure that we've reconnected to the runtime. So if you don't see RAM and disk in the top right-hand corner, click Connect or Reconnect and wait until you do see those. All right, let's move on. There is some handy links to more information and some presentation videos that you can watch on your own time. There are some requirements and this notebook's gonna take care of all those for us. This section I've added, it installs some software we're gonna need for rendering. In other words, making a video of the model we generate. So let's install those. This is gonna take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video. Now that we've installed this software, we're gonna to have to restart the runtime. So go into runtime, go to restart runtime, and then click yes. Okay, now we're all set up, we can finally begin installing and using the PIF UHD software. So first we're gonna copy or clone all of the source code files from GitHub. Okay, configure input data. Now this section is pretty important. If you wanna upload your own picture, we need to run this cell. So run the cell, choose an image of a person from your files, And you'll see it's uploading here, 50%, 100%, it's done. Okay, now let's go on to the next cell. And finally, we're gonna CD or change directory into our content directory. All right, now we're gonna perform some steps to process the image. So we're gonna download some other software from GitHub. And finally, we're gonna run that software. This software is gonna analyze the image that we uploaded earlier. All right, let's download the pre-trained model. This is gonna take a while too. Okay. Great, we're finally at the run PIF UHD section. So let's run the cell. This is the code cell that's actually generating the 3D model from the photo that we uploaded. All right, it's done. So let's go into our files and then into the PIF UHD folder and then into results. PIF UHD final, recon, and you'll see two files here, an object file and a PNG file. Let's double click on the PNG file and preview it in the browser. You see that I uploaded an image of a Greek statue. 
Normally for this algorithm, we want to use photos, but I just wanted to see what would happen with a statue. And with the object file, let's click the three dots next to it and then download. Okay, the file is downloaded on my machine. I can preview it on my computer. There it is. Wow, this is really interesting. So it looks like I have a face on both sides of the body. In fact, it looks like the software couldn't determine which side of the body was the front or the back. So I basically have two fronts here and two faces. Well, now we know how PIF UHD works on ancient Greek sculptures. All right, next in the notebook, let's render the result. In other words, we're going to make a video of this result. All right, and the video is displayed below. I can play it here in the browser. Or, as you can see in the files section, it just refreshed and is showing me a new video file. Click the three dots and then download. Now we can view this video file on our computer. Now, what happens if you want to run this software on a different photo? Now, the safest way is to start at the very beginning of the notebook and do each code cell step by step. But in this demo, I'm just going to run the code cells that I need to generate a new 3D model. First, I've installed this software already, so I will go to configure input data. Let's run that cell. All right, and now we're going to upload our own image. I'm just going to choose a picture of Obama. Hit uploaded. All right, next cell, next cell. Process this photo. All right, the photo is processed. Here I'll just change into the content PIF UHD directory. I've already downloaded the model, so let's skip that. And now run PIF UHD. Oh, this one's taking a while. All right, so we have our new result. And you can see in the file browser that there's a new file, result underscore Obama. Let's double click on the original image and preview it. So there's Obama. Let's render the video. OK, this looks awesome. Let's download the object file by clicking the three dots. OK, let's preview this file. All right, so there you have it, Obama as a 3D model, generated from a single photo. Pretty incredible, huh? So now that you have this object file, you can do anything with it. You can stick it into Blender or whatever 3D program you use. Let me know if you run into any problems running this demo. And I hope you'll share some of your results in the class Slack workspace. Thanks.